vault -Tec, America's number one defense system against complete nuclear fallout. In 2031, vault -Tec Industries was born when the company bought Morgantown's local college and rebranded it as vault -Tec University, with some of vault -Tec's best and brightest teachers and scientists teaching and graduating from there. This is when the US government began what is known as Project Safe House in the Fallout universe. vault -Tec began creating vaults, with Vault 13 having a budget of $400 billion alone. After this, vault -Tec received board privileges in enforcing security for all of America, even being allowed to use lethal force if vaults are activated. But vault -Tec had a problem, lack of oversight. Due to this, there was a constant mismanagement, corruption and embezzlement defining Project Safehouse before the war. But despite all of those problems, vault was still able to create a large number of cutting edge technologies and develop vaults that legitimately required participants. vault began advertising vaults in Canada, though this was in the early days of completion. But regardless of nuclear war, vault -Tec had their own agenda, which I'm sure you all know about by now. The company decided to use their vaults as test environments to better redefine society, in their opinion. Because of this, in the early days of vault -Tec, an entire vault was set aside to act as vault -Tec's proving grounds, if you will, intended to test a bunch of different experiments. Human lives were considered irrelevant to vault -Tec. The experiments were meant to convert, quote, useless exercises into society useful activities, manipulate the moods of vault dwellers, develop forms of mind control, and much, much more. Ethical concerns were simply forgotten about in order to productively get these vaults up and running. Drills began in every ready vault which according to Fallout Law created a cry wolf effect. Ultimately, vault -Tec decided against vaults being shelters for humanity after they gained complete control over Project Safe House. Instead, vault -Tec decided that they would use the vaults to experiment as much as they possibly could. Only 17 vaults, give or take, were designed to be, shall we say, real, regular vaults that actually sheltered humanity from nuclear war. These vaults were called control vaults. Every other vault was created to be annoying, jarring, or just outright threatening and or lethal and sinister. It began simple, but it got worse. Some vaults simply just weren't given enough food to see how vault dwellers would react. Some vaults only had men inside to see how the men would react to no women, etc. But when the bombs finally fell, vault air raid sirens blared throughout America. However, the quote cry wolf effect resulted in just a fraction of people getting into the vaults. The vaults were sealed when the bombs fell and then the experiment started. The regular vaults, aka control vaults, worked as intended as far as we are aware, but the others were not so lucky. Or maybe they were lucky because they never had to sit through all of these awful experiments. But nonetheless, over the decades, many vaults would fail, of course, as a result of the experiments, and the few that did survive would often prosper. In 2091, after getting all of their all-clear signals, Vault 8 opened and Vault City was founded. To the public, Vault Tech's primary goal was the development of a line of nuclear-safe underground vaults slash houses. However, to Vault Tech, their goal was much, much more sinister than that. And that is pretty much how vault -Tec got started. Very surprisingly, and unfortunately, we don't know a whole lot of lore when it comes to the very beginning of vault -Tec. My own headcanon, though, is that the owner of vault -Tec still monitors the vaults from his or her own private vault, where they're somehow still alive. Again, that is just my headcanon, though. It's not lore, it's not canon, so don't take my word for that. This is my very, very first lore video, and I plan to do a hell of a lot more. I would also like to apologise if it isn't as good as other lore videos, you know. Like I say, this is my first one. But nonetheless, if you did enjoy it, please do show your support by hitting like. It really does help out smaller channels like myself. Also, we're hoping to hit 600 subscribers here soon, so if you'd like to subscribe for more Fallout lore videos, your support would really mean the world. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I really hope to see you in.
the next one.